mother. Um, thanks for letting me stay here. Yeah, but just don't mess up my stuff. I'm happy to see you too. What you say? Oh, Nen, if you can just um show me to my room, I'll get out your way. Girl, I can't believe you thought you had a room. What you think this is? It's cool, I guess. I mean, I'm just glad that me and this baby ain't out here on the streets, so I'll take whatever. That's right, because you a bum now, because you won't put out for being homeless. Man, I can't help it that I fell on bad times and I lost my job. Yeah, whatever. We all know who took care of you. Your daddy did. But please don't get too comfortable, because this is just temporarily. It's really like that? That's how it is? But honestly, I'm really glad you're here, though. Really? Of course, you're family. But you know what? I'm finna get out your way so you can go on and get settled in. Thank you. You know what? She really think I'm glad she here. <laughs> After all these years, she done made my life a living hell. Oh, but I'm finna make her life a living hell. Watch me. She didn't seem like she was too happy to have us here do it. Well, baby, we just gonna have to make the best of it, Doodle. Mwah. I put my beef together. I put my beef together. Melt my butter. Melt my butter. Put my beef together. I put my beef together. Mm. I see somebody look like they done made they stuff at home, huh? Yeah, I'm in here cooking. I can cook you something to eat, too. No, I don't eat everybody cooking. And I really don't like nobody being in my kitchen either. All right, suit yourself then. Now get out! All right. Man, this girl I tell my she can cook. I don't know what this mess is. Look like you need some more seasoning in this food. Look like it to me. I wouldn't dare eat this mess. What did I do to deserve this? I mean, I literally do everything right. I will give people the shirt off my back, and this is how you treat me? This is how you treat me, God? You know what? I'ma just start being evil too, and maybe I'll win. Yes. Uh, can you please turn that TV down? I can barely hear myself think. I'm sorry. I intentionally made it low as possible. That's why I got the captions on. I can barely hear myself. Now, I think you're doing it on purpose. Why would I do this to you on purpose? I mean, you gave me a place to live. I am grateful. I would not do nothing on purpose to you. Well, you sitting here watching TV and getting all comfortable, but you know what? It's bothering me. I see why you homeless, but you know what? Take your lazy self and go in there and clean up my kitchen right now. Sorry if I'm inconveniencing you by being here. I know it's not ideal. Yeah, it's not. But what we gonna do? Besides, you ain't finna have my church members talking about me and Facebook talking about I left you and your baby out here homeless. So you really don't want me here? We ain't family. You just my husband's daughter. And besides, you grown. You got your own self in this situation. I don't have to feel sorry for you. Now, what you can do is go on in there and clean up that mess you left in that living room and don't come in here questioning me. 
You know what? Okay. Come over here and question me. It was down through the years. Woo! The Lord's been good to me. Yes, he has! <laughs> I'm leaving. I can't take this anymore. Family, you leave. Well, don't let the dough hit you with a good loss, bitch. Hey, can't got your tongue? Are hey, you hear me? Oh, so you gonna ignore me? You know what? You gonna regret the day that you did me wrong. You know what, girl? You can leave. Ain't nobody finna beg you to stay with your ungrateful self. The call I've been waiting on all day. My lawyer. There's a call I've been waiting on. Boy, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of money. Hello, Miss Austin. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. I was just calling because we finally have the detail of your husband's will. Great. I know he left me everything. I brought all them years I done took care of him. Um, right. Um, I would rather do it with your stepdaughter, Misha. Does she still live with you? Well, actually, she right here, but I can't put the phone on speaker. Oh, well, great. This takes me a trip. Let's see. Um, well, it looks like your husband left everything to his daughter, Misha. <gasps> what? Are you serious? I'm oh, serious as a heart attack. What? How could it be? I'm not sure, but, um... That's what it is. Um, Misha, your father left you a lot of money. You a very lucky woman, girl. Yes, I am, and I know just what I'ma do with it. Well, congratulations again, Misha. We can meet later at the office to discuss the details. Okay, thank you. And one last thing. Ain't no last thing, trick. So, what do you plan on doing with the money? Well, actually, I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to succeed. And um, I won't forget about anybody that stood by me when I needed them the most. Right, because I stood by you, right, right? Um, if you think that you were standing by me, then you're delusional. Now, if you excuse me, let me go get my money, because I'm rich, Trey! You low down, daddy, half of you! What's up, Kadeeper Dion family? Hey, we hope you guys enjoyed that video, but most of all, uh, caught the message. Mom, tell them what the message is about. The message is always treat others the way they need to be treated, whether they're your stepchild or your child. That's the message. Always treat each people equally. And uh, what they need to do, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and, and turn them notifications on. on. Woo! Some young people moving in. Now they know they can't afford that house. That must be some hooligans or something. You know what? I think I'm finna go over here and introduce myself. Oh yes, I am excited. <laughs> Me too. This gonna be a nice fixer up, and we got it for cheap. Too. Okay, shoot, two thousand dollars. <laughs> How y'all doing? Howdy. Hey. Well, howdy. Hey, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Y'all must be the new uh, movie crew or something. Oh, no. where, are, where are our manners? I'm Royal. And I'm Misha. Actually, we're your new neighbors. That's strange. I didn't even know this house was for sale. Yep, and we snatched it right on up. Oh, you mean y'all snatched up, y'all stole it or something? Yep, it was a great steal. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Oh, no, t technically what Misha is saying is that we got it for a great price. Well, hi, my name is Miss Betty, and I live across the street over there. And this is a real good community, but you know what? We police are heavy around here. Oh, you the police? No, I'm worse. But call me if y'all need anything, or don't. Call us if you need us or don't. Ugh, she was so rude. 
Really? I didn't get those vibes from her. You didn't? Man, please. Clearly, that lady was judging us. You think so? I know so. She gonna be a problem. You watch. Now look. We just moved over here, so let's try to be positive, okay? I'm pretty sure that old lady is not going to be any harm. If you say so, let's just finish unpacking. Come on. Ma, what's going on next door? I don't know. I guess it's two hoodlums moving in or something. Hoodlums? Ma, how you know that and you don't even know them? I know they're here to cause problems deep day. You know how these young folks is. No, I don't, but I bet you finna enlighten me. They thug. You know what? They don't even want to work for nothing. They just want folks to give them something. Oh, are we now? Boy, I'm not talking about you. You know why? Because I raised you better than that. Dang, Misha. You ain't going to help. This thing heavy. Uh, I told you we should have hired somebody. I ain't got no muscles for all that. Girl, help me move this thing in the house. It's heavy. Uh, mm, come on. Uh, mm. uh, oh, thank heaven. Look at them. They can't even move in properly. You know what? They get ready to run our neighborhood. Look, you being a bit judgmental. I ain't judgmental. I'm just being realistic. Look, Ma, instead of judging them, we should just go over there and help them. Why, please? You ain't going over there with them folks. Because you know what? They hook them. They might try to rob you. Whatever, Ma. I'm finna go help them. Why wait? Because if you go over there, you might as well stay. Because you can't come back over here. <sighs> Fine. Wait, 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 wait. Where you think you going? I need you to keep an eye on them. I need you to watch them. But, Ma, why I got to watch them? Because I said so. Didn't I tell you to call me if you seen any action over there? I ain't seen no more. What, what you call that, then? Look at all them thugs over there. You know what? That's a gap. And, you know, I don't trust them. I'm getting ready to go call the police. For three people? Ma, oh, that's a bit extreme. Ma. You're starting to act like a can. Whatever. I'm just trying to keep these thugs out of my community. Hello. Uh, I need the police to come over here to 123 Lane Avenue. Yes, I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye. Mom, why you call the police? Because I can do that. If you wrong, I don't think so. Because I ain't. Ooh, boy, this is nice. Y'all done really came up. We came a long way from over that way, huh? It's all right. Nisha, stop being modest. Now, you know this is the bomb. It is, it's the bomb, but um, who is that creepy old lady that keeps staying over here? That is Miss Betty from across the street. She, uh, she is a very sweet old lady. Oh, she don't look sweet. Bet she a Karen. I bet she be calling the police and everything. <laughs> Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey. I'm Detective Courtney. I received a phone call of disturbance in the neighborhood. Just wanted to make sure everything was okay over here. Um, officer, we were just here um, showing my homie our new investment property. Okay, everything seems fine here. You guys have a great day. All right, officer. You have a good day, too. I told y'all she was a character. I bet she the one who called the police on y'all. Ugh, stinking old lady. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Where the police going? Hey, what you find out over there? They moving a lot of weight over there. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Miss Betty, I'm just playing. These people are perfectly normal. You just need to stay out of their business. But? But nothing. The next time you call us, you going to jail. I told you. I told you, I told you. I can't believe that didn't work. I was for sure that was up to no good. Maybe you're just wrong about them. Maybe they're just trying to make a new home for themselves. You know what, son? Maybe you're right. I just need to go over there and apologize, because you know what? I didn't have no right to judge them. I just want to come over here and apologize. It was wrong with me calling the police on y'all and even judging y'all, because I didn't even get the chance to know y'all. I am so sorry. If y'all ever need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Oh, I knew that was the lady that called the police. We got to figure out a way to get her back. Now, Misha, calm down. What is that going to solve? We still got a house to flip, and we got to be peaceful with our neighbors. Oh, I hate it when you right. I know you do, but it's OK. Now, let's call LP to come get In fact, can you help us, Keisha, move these boxes? You know what? What's up, kid?
Tanika D. Earn family. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. But most importantly, always most importantly, that you guys caught the message. Man, don't be a Karen, okay? Don't be going around here calling the police on people just because you suspect that they're doing something. I mean, get to know people. Never judge a book by its cover. Haven't y'all been watching the series where we don't judge people by what they look like, how they dress, how they talk, how they walk, because you never know who people are. Remember a song, I'm Just a Nobody, trying to tell everybody about somebody who really loved me? Because really, God could be dressed up as a bomb, as somebody laying on the street. You never know who a person is. So don't judge a book by its character. I mean, don't judge a book by its cover, you know? Yeah, don't judge a book by its character, too. I think that kind of makes sense, too, because, hey, books are fictional, feel me? Like, you never really know what's on inside of the book until you actually read the book. So get to know people, don't judge people, and stop calling the police on people for no reason. Having barbecues in the park. Look, he is on the corner trying to sell water. Like, stop calling the pe police on people for no reason. And honestly, it's a disservice to the police officers. Like, they got important stuff to do instead of coming and running to your aid for no reason. But look, yeah, don't be a Karen, okay? All right, y'all, so y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification button, and in the words of the TUFC family, make sure y'all are turning up for a chat. Let's go. I just got home from the doctor. <laughs> the doctor? You okay? Um, not for real. I'm just a little nauseous and, and a little lightheaded, but it ain't nothing too major. Nauseated? You ain't pregnant, is it, girl? <laughs> yeah, I'm pregnant. Huh? Man, you know I'm just playing. Oh, okay. I'll talk to you later, girl. All right. I'm sorry, girl. My, that was my neighbor. Anyways, I gotta talk to you later. Dayan just got here. We finna go to the movies. Okay, girl, y'all have fun. Wait, is it? No, it's somebody random. But bye, Roy. Get out of my business. I'll talk to you later. Uh, okay, girl, well, y'all have fun. Not only is she pregnant, but she don't even know who the baby daddy is. How tainting. Lord have mercy. That ain't my business to tell. Well, she wouldn't have told me if she didn't want me to tell everybody, so I really need to call to here and tell Tia. Hello. Girl, guess what? Wait. Well, girl, since you done beat it out of me, let me tell you. Ty, she would child her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What Ty? Um, Keisha Ty or Erica Ty? Keisha Ty. <gasps> what? Keisha Tot pregnant? By who? Girl, that's the funny part. She don't even know. And that's the tea. You know what? Now, that definitely was some tea that I was not expecting. Mm -hmm. oh, speaking of tea, mine's going off. I'm going to have to call you back, okay? Okay. But, girl, make sure you don't tell nobody, okay? Oh, now, why would I do that, baby? You know I'm locked down like a vault. <laughs> My lips are sealed. All right, bye. Okay, I'm gonna unseal them just for a little bit. I gotta tell the whole world that Tot is pregnant. Girl, how about Tot pregnant? Tot who? Tot Tot. You talking about Tot Tot, my niece Tot, as in Keisha's Tot? Mm-hmm. And Roy just said she pregnant with triplets, girl, and she can't name not one baby daddy. Uh, I know she better not be pregnant. But you ain't here for me, girl, okay? You ain't here for me, but uh, that's the tea. I gotta go now. Bye. Hey, Miss Betty. Mm-hmm. I 
I was just calling to let you know that Ty is pregnant. What? Tati down to pregnant? Mm-hmm. Tot, tot. She pregnant, baby, and I heard she got my boat turning up in there. I knew that girl was fat. You know what? See, Keisha gotta get a hand on that. Mm -hmm. Hot in the pants, baby. But, oh, oh, hold on now. You didn't hear this from me. I just wanted to let you know that's the tea. It's a beautiful day out here to enjoy in my outside, because I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> Tara, what she want? Hello? Girl, Brie, how about Ty pregnant? <gasps> what? Oh, so she gonna leave this out from telling me? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you didn't hear that from me now, okay? I'm just letting you know that's the tea. <gasps> oh, let me call Ty, cause at least I thought she'd tell me. We close. Excited to see Ant-Man? Yes, I heard it's really good. Hold on. Hey, Brie. Well, congratulations. Congratulations? What are you talking about? On the pregnancy. I can't believe you told Roy over me, and we close. We supposed to be better than this. Brie, what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Great. More lies. Well, okay, Todd. We ain't got to never talk again. I can't believe she ain't tell me she was pregnant. Brie, what? <sighs> Is everything okay? Yeah, um, actually, can we reschedule for it later? I gotta handle this situation. But you know, the movie starts in 30 minutes. I know, I know, but we can find another show, maybe tomorrow. Okay, babe, you just talk to me though. I will, I promise. It's just, I gotta handle this right now. Can, can you come back, please? I understand, just, just call me ready, okay? Thank you for this, I understand it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta post this video today. Let me call mom. Hey Todd, what's up? <laughs> mom, can you please come over here? Yeah, of course. Is everything okay? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Todd, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. This video can wait. My child come first. Why would you even play like that? Are you pregnant? Pregnant? No. <sighs> Damn, wait. I promise you it's not what you think. You know what? Do you? I have already been hurt before and I, I'm not doing this no more. You know what? Fine. Just leave. Yo, I just can't believe this. Tatiana is so upset. She said people going around spreading rumors about her. <laughs> well, maybe they ain't rumors. Right, and Roy is supposed to be her best friend. Why he out here spreading them rumors about her? Well, maybe you ought to think about giving her a test, because you can't be too sure. You right. Maybe I should. Girl, I done bought a pregnancy test and everything, so maybe I should just let her take it. All right, y'all. Thanks for the advice. Bye. Oh. <sighs> I can't believe Roy around here telling people that I'm pregnant. That's why you can't tell people nothing. Hey Ty, can I talk to you? <sighs> sure. Look, I've been thinking, and maybe you should take a pregnancy test. <sighs> you too, Mom? First Bri, then Dayon, now you? <sighs> I'll take the stupid test. Hey Dayon, you back? Hey, I just wanted to pause out about earlier. Um, it's Ty here. Yeah, I think she in her room. You want me to get it for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use the breast room though, okay? Okay, all right, cool. Ty! Ty! Ty, wake up! Ty! Oh, please wake up, wake up, please, please! Call 911! Ty! Please wake up, please. Please! Ty! No! Please, baby! Um, you good? Ty? Uh, who else would it be? Whew. Must have just been a dream. What was a dream? Nothing. Just know you're beautiful, smart, talented, and people are gonna hate. But don't worry about them. Just be you, please. Okay, what's gotten into you? Just promise me, man, okay? Okay, I promise. 
Now you really gotta tell me what this dream about. Jay, have to kill you. What's up, Kanika Dion family? We hope you guys enjoyed that video. But most importantly, always most importantly, that you guys caught the message. And the message is don't be listening to rumors. First off, most importantly, don't be spreading rumors, okay? Because you never know how rumors can impact somebody else. And then listen, people, don't allow rumors to impact you. It's a lot of people who be trying to talk about people and really don't even know what be going on. And then, you know, like, listen, the story becomes like a buildup. You know what I'm saying? Somebody may tell you one thing, and then by the time you get to other people, it be something else because people be adding their own thing. Listen, rumors are only hurt people hurting people, okay? You know what I'm saying? Because really, honestly, rumors, y'all, they really do hurt. As you can see, it's some people that commit suicide behind rumors. Like, rumors can really ruin people's life. So, y'all, don't be a person who goes around and spread rumors. And to the people who have had rumors spread it up against, spread it about them, all that stuff, don't allow that stuff to dictate who you are. You feel me? A rumor is just that. A rumor. You know your truth, own your truth, and live in that. And oh, let me tell y'all, we do a lot, cause let me tell y'all, right now, I am currently filming this myself. Like, literally, I'm holding the camera. Hold on, let me show y'all. Can I, can I show y'all? Hold on, hold on, let me see. Okay, I don't know what, what you see, but anyway, but anyway. I am holding the camera. It's the dedication for me. But we had to get this video done. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification button. Oh yeah, and in the words of the TUFC family, turn up for a check. Bye. Hey mom, wait, where you going? I need to talk to you. Um, well, it's gonna have to wait. Can I just ride with you and tell you on the way? Um, Ty, how many times we gotta talk about this? You know I gotta go to work and you can't go to work with me. <sighs> you always go to work. <sighs> wow, just ungrateful, Tatiana. If I don't work, you don't eat. And then who gonna put them shoes on your feet? Mom, you know I didn't mean it like that. It's just like, you never spend time with me because you always work. Well, Ty, there's nothing in the world I'd rather be doing than to spend time with you. But I gotta go to work, bruh. I'm a single parent. I'm the one who paying the bills. I'm the one who taking care of you, so I gotta work. I understand. Well, I tell you what. How about I get off early tonight and I'm all yours. Really? Yeah, man, and we can watch movies like we used to and do whatever you want to. But right now, I really got to go to work, but I'll see you when I get off, okay? Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Man, Ty, why you got to be so selfish? You know she got to work so she can feed you and give you the clothes and all the stuff that you want. But it's okay to be selfish sometimes. Let me go get ready for my night of fun with my mama. Ty, Ty, wake up. What time is it? 10.30. I thought you was getting off early. Man, Ty, I tried, I really did. But it was this little girl that came in and she really needed my help, so I couldn't just leave her. But you could leave your own child, though. Ty, it ain't even like that. So how is it then? How is it you can go out here and save all these other people's kids, but you can't even save your own child? But it's cool, though. Keep saving them people kids. Ty, wait! You know what? Since you want to have an attitude, you grounded, bro. Go and go to your room. You got on my nerves. Whatever, you will love me again tomorrow, bro. Whatever. Girl, if you slam You know what? Man, these children are so ungrateful. I work the way I work so she can have the things that she want to have in life. You know what? I'm going to bed. I ain't got time for this because I deal with enough drama at work. <sighs> hey, Mom. Hey. I really just want to apologize for last night. I mean, I was just really looking forward to spending time with you. 
TikTok. I understand. And I promise you, it's nothing I would rather do than to spend time with you. But, man, I got to work so we can eat. You don't work, you don't grind, you don't eat. Exactly. And that's why I'm finna go get a job. <laughs> Ty, you don't got to get a job, okay? I want you to focus on your studies. Anyway, dinner is in the microwave. I already done. And I'll be home later, all right? Okay. Love you. Okay, I love you too. I'll show her. I'm finna go get a job. Ooh, what key shit? Got me sorting out all these doggone canned goods. She ain't even here. <sighs> hey, what's up, girl? My bad, I'm late. Yeah, you got me sorting out all these canned goods and you ain't even here. Man, my bad. Me and Ty got into an argument. For what? Because, man, she talk about I work too much and I'm always putting these other kids before her. Um, you do work too much. Have you thought about what she said? I mean, well, Misha, look, what you don't understand is that if I don't help these kids, they gonna struggle and they gonna be in the same predicament like it's either gonna be jail or dead. And I'm out here trying to save these kids' lives. Think about what you just said, if you don't help these kids. Put that same energy into if you don't help your daughter. <laughs> But the thing is, Misha, I do help her. She And plus, she the one who shut me out. She don't want me to go prom shopping with her. When she walk around the house like she angry, I asked her what's wrong with her, and she don't want to talk, bro. So how I'm going to help her if I don't know what's going on? Ooh. This is nice. Hey, bro. Where you get money like this to afford a car like this? I'm a hustler, baby. Boy, please, I am not your baby. Anyway, how can I make money like this? I don't really think you're ready to get money like me. Please, I'm ready for whatever. Plus, if I was making money like this, my mama would never have to work, and we can spend time all the time. <laughs> all right, then. I get the game. But if you get caught, don't blame me. What I look like, a snitch? No, I'm just saying. But you know what? I'll drop your location, and I'll meet you in the aisle with the package. Uh, why you can't just give it to me right now? For real, for real. Here you go. Say that. Oh, uh, uh uh. I ain't finna say that. Man, you wanna make this bread or what? <sighs> Fine, I'll take it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now go for somebody to see you and talk. Make sure don't nobody see you. <sighs> okay. So, what I'm supposed to do, Misha, huh? Uh, Keisha, you heard about your daughter out here running these streets? Mom, my child does not run the streets. Oh, so you ain't heard her running around with Dayon? What's wrong with her hanging with Dayon? Well, you know his daddy is a kingpin. So because his daddy is a kingpin, that make him a kingpin? Look, Mom, I ain't got time. So is you here to help or not? Listen, you need to get a control on your daughter. Mom, I do have control on my daughter. How? By you working 24-7? Mom, the apple don't fall too far from the tree because all you did was work. So guess what? I get it from my mom. No, you don't get that from me, baby, because that because I work 24 7. I did make sure y'all had and I was there with y'all. You ain't making sure she got nothing doing. Nothing. You was there with us, Mom? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Well look, Mom, hey, I got my child on lock, so I don't really need your help. So if you ain't here to help sort no canned goods, you can go on and get in somebody else's business. Well, you know what? I guess I better go on and get in somebody else's business, Steve. Okay. I right. she told you. Whew. Damn, how she gonna have a nerd to come over here and try to get in my business? I don't know, but you told her. I know that. Hey, fool. Let me get that package. Yeah, we want everything. Hey, bro, y'all don't really want to do this. Shut up, fool. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Right. You can't tell me what to do. Now, baby, let me see this. Man, what the money to stop playing with me? Man, see, that that ain't what y'all think, man. I slain candy. I ain't like my pop. All right, since y'all ain't got no money, y'all coming with me. Bro, I ain't going nowhere. I said y'all coming with me. <laughs> no, look, look, I don't even know him. Look, I just met him today, and I just wanted some money just to fucking fix it. But my mom, no, please, don't take my baby. No. No. Mom. No. Mom. Todd. You yeah. okay? Yeah, well, wouldn't I be? <sighs> it was just a dream. What was just a dream? Nothing, but anyway, I gotta go get ready. For work, yeah, I know. Actually, I'm taking the day off. What, really? 
Yes, ma'am. As a matter of fact, we're gonna be spending a lot more time together because they ain't about to get my baby kidnapped. Huh? You know what? Nothing. All that matters is us spending time together and doing whatever you want to do, man. You know, I love you, man. I love you too, ma. Oh, now, let's watch some TV. Okay. What you want to watch? Um, it really don't matter. What's up, Kanika Dion family? We hope you guys enjoyed that video, but most importantly, always most importantly, that you guys caught the message. And the message is, parents, our children have feelings. I understand that we try to work and provide a better life for them and do things that, you know, possibly could help the community and other children, but we gotta take into account that our children have feelings and they don't want to be left out so you know hey make sure you're not being a workaholic you're not working a lot and you're spending time with your kids and you know you're not putting other kids before your kids also kids make sure that you understand that your parents got to work if you don't work you don't eat you don't grind you don't shine but parents Money is not more important than a relationship with your kids. And I had to learn it the hard way. You know what I'm saying? But I learned it, moved past it, and now I have a better relationship with my daughter. So make sure you're listening to your kids. Parents, listen to your kids. Kids, listen to your parents and make sure you know it's not intentional. We love y'all and we don't try to do anything to harm y'all. But anyway, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification button. And make sure you're turning up for a check in the words of the TULC family. Bye. Love you. Party. Why didn't give me none? Rakaia, how many times I gotta tell you this? When your birthday in February, and when your birthday came, didn't we take you to uh, Great Wolf Lodge? Yeah, but this is better stuff. But nothing. Now, won't you help me take this stuff downstairs? Actually, my stomach hurts. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, the decorator is on his way, and when he get here, let him in, okay? Okay. All right. Ooh, was that mama? Yeah. Did she have my stuff? Unfortunately. Yeah, we lit. My party about to be the absolute best. Another day, another dollar. Man, oh man, they got a nice house. I need to go up on the price. No, I can't do that though, cause they are providing all the supplies. Anyways, I ain't gonna let you ruin my moment. Good day, Kyle. What does that mean? It means goodbye. Let me take all these stickers off. Make this look like it's homemade. Ugh, take this Walmart bag off. <laughs>
need you too much money. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm on my way back now. I was gonna eat your cake. No, please don't eat the cake. Please don't eat my cake. All right. I'll see you in a minute. And I know you wasn't about to eat my cake. The cake I paid for? Who you think you is? Anime? Eat the cake? Nah. And you better be back on your way. What they saw ain't no decorated today. <laughs> Rakaya, who is that at the door? None of your business. Look, girl, it's my birthday. You got to wait on my hand and foot and be nice to me. And if you can't do that, you ain't coming to my birthday party. Capiche? Well, I have to because I'm your sister. We'll see about that. Let's see about that. We're going to make this the boys' birthday party. Ha, ha, ha. Can I help? You know how to decorate? Duh, do I look like a baby? Oh, my bad. Um, we're here. Do these for me. Kaya! Oopsie. It's okay, it's okay. Here, yeah, just, just get this one. I, you know what? I don't. I don't think you should help. Okay. Kaya, wait. You know what? Just go over and sit down, and that'll help me a lot. Oops. We're Kaya. You uh, did that on purpose. Oopsie. Why did you eat my cake? I did it on accident. You did that on purpose. You've been trying to sabotage my birthday all day. What happened? Rakaya happened. <laughs> Kaya! I'm sorry, Malaysia. I didn't mean to make you cry. I was just jealous. Come on, that's not what you do when you're jealous. At the end of the day, that's your sister. You should go apologize. Okay. Sorry, Malaysia. I forgive you. Now that's what it's all about. Now let's let's decorate. What's up, Kanikra Dion family? We hope you guys enjoyed that video, but most importantly, always most importantly, you guys caught the message. And the message is, look now, we understand that we have siblings, right? But just because, you know, it's your sibling's birthday party, you shouldn't be mad at the other sibling because it's their birthday party. You know, let them have their day. Don't be trying to destroy and hate on their fun because guess what, you may end up hurting them more than they deserve to be hurt, you know what I'm saying? So y'all ain't gotta be doing all that hating stuff, all that jealousy, all that envy, you know what I'm saying? Because honestly, we should choose love over everything. Like love over everything, you know what I'm saying? And that's what y'all should be doing. Loving on your siblings, supporting your siblings, no matter what, no matter if it's something that you want or not. Y'all gotta learn how to share. Sharing is caring. And let your sister or your brother or whoever had a day because you had your day and guess what? They celebrated you, right? And, okay, that's the end of that message. Now I gotta just talk to y'all on some real stuff. Bro, our channel is down 50%. 50, 50, that's half. That is half. We trying to understand, like, y'all gotta help us understand, like, what do y'all wanna see? Like, y'all wanna see more Malaysia and Kaya? Like, is it that? You know what? I need to do a poll because last time I did a revamp and I started asking you guys more, like, what do y'all wanna see? Like, what do y'all wanna see from us? Y'all start showing us stuff. You know, y'all start telling us. So, okay, y'all, the mic died. So I had to go back, go get another mic, change out the mic, and then come back. So let's do what I'm saying. Like I was saying, y'all let us know what y'all wanna see, cause I promise y'all, look, y'all, we work so freaking hard to push out content for y'all, to push out what y'all wanna see. So like, if y'all are not getting what y'all, if y'all are not seeing what y'all wanna see, Man, y'all help me because I promise y'all, and I'm gonna be just all the way transparent with y'all. It is depressing because literally, like, bro, we work seven days a week, you know what I'm saying, to make sure, like, we are pushing out content. But if it ain't what y'all wanna see, it really don't even matter anyway. So, y'all let us know what y'all want, okay? And don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and start sharing. Share, share. Watch it over and over and over, many times, many times, cause we fifty percent down, y'all. But anyway, like button, subscribe button, and in the words of the TUFC family, turn a full check. Let's go, bye.
Storyblocks Audio.